It's time for Orchard Skills. Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, also known as SMTP, is a communication protocol for electronic mail transmission. The protocol variety is in widespread use today. Mail servers and other message transfer agents use SMTP to send and receive mail messages. SMTP servers commonly use the transmission control protocol on port number 25, not to be confused with the post office protocol, also known as POP or POP, which provides access via an internet protocol on port 110 for a user client application to a mailbox maintained on a mail server. Today on Orchard Skills, we'll be utilizing free utility SMTP for dev. It's a dummy fake SMTP email server for development and testing on Windows. Linux, and Mac OS. It has been written in the .NET Core 3.1 platform using C Sharp. It lets you test your application without spamming your real customers and without needing to set up complicated real email servers with a special configuration. Messages received in SMTP for Dev can be viewed and inspected through a web interface. <music> Welcome back to Orchard Skills. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and go to the SMTP for Dev GitHub repository. The source code is available at github.com slash rnwood slash SMTP for Dev. If you're using the .NET Core SDK 3.1 or greater, you can install SMTP for Dev as a global tool using the following command, .NET tool, Install that's g rnwood.smtp dash dash version 3.10. You can start SMTP for dev by running SMTP for dev. SMTP for dev listens on 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 all interface port 25 by default. To look at the interface, you need to launch a web browser and go to localhost 5000 or 5001. And here's the SMTP4 dev interface. You'll notice that we have tab dialogs, one for the messages and one for the sessions. Let's go ahead and run our Orchard Core application. Let's go ahead and log into the dashboard. Now let's go down to configuration, into settings, and into SMTP. Okay, send our email address, sales at orchardcore.com, delivery method, network, um, host name, local host, port number 25. We'll save that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go into our contact, we'll enter Orchard Skills for our name, and then our email address, sales at orchardskills.com, and then this is a message. And do a submit. There we go, thanks for your message. So now let's go ahead and bring up our SMTP here, and you can see here, that we received our message, sales at orchardcore.com. And here's our message. The, the following information has been submitted, William Bess. So there you go. That's how easy it is to go ahead and set up SMTP for dev and get it working. And then we go to our sessions and we can see our session here. And I actually look at the log here. So it's quite nice to get all this logging information through the session and then also our message. So this is a great tool for testing SMTP. To recap, we went to the SMTP4 dev GitHub repository, and then we went ahead and installed the SMTP4 dev using the command line through the .NET tool command, and then started the SMTP server by doing SMTP4 dev command, and then we went to localhost 5001, ran our Orchard Core application, set up our SMTP settings, and ran a test through our contact us page, and everything is working. 
Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.